All right, to the phone lines we go. We got some phone calls here during the open mic segment. Ron from Altamont Springs has a question on his 2017 Ford F-150. Ron, you're on with the Magic Mechanic. Yeah, hey, Larry. Uh, I've got a 5-liter a 2017 F-150. Uh-huh. And it's uh, I've had trouble with the uh, ignit when I turn the key the starter warning gauge, and uh, I've had it to the dealer twice. The first time they said they replaced the solenoid, and the second time they uh, replaced the starter for eight hundred and something dollars. Ooh. Now it's done it again. They've had it a week, and they've yet to figure out what's causing it. Now that used to be such a simple problem. You could solve it in five minutes, you know. It's, it's either the battery or the solenoid or the ignition switch or, you know, or the gener- or the uh, starter. So, uh, no, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, Ron. Listen, uh, the anti-theft system on that vehicle will prevent it from starting. Okay. You see I what I'm saying? That. Yes, sir. That anti-theft system, if for some reason or other, that anti-theft system, you know, and then let me explain this to you so you know your key fob that you've got in that vehicle, I know that it'll usually tell you on the dash if the battery's low, but um, I would, by all means, make sure you got brand new batteries in at least both of your key fobs, number one. Um, and then a person really needs to put the IDS on this thing and really go through that anti-theft system to see if there's anything historical been going on with it. Um, I think, I think they just missed this one completely. They swung a bat and, and, and they came up with a strike. Ron, what has to be done is, is when this problem is duplicated, a person is going to have to find out, okay, it's going to go to a relay. It's going to go through a starter relay to activate the starter solenoid. Well, the first thing a person's got to do is find out if there is voltage, you know, from the ignition itself when you push the start button to that relay. And if there is, then a person is going to have to take voltage tests down at the solenoid on the starter. These are simple 12-volt tests with a 12-volt test light. No high-tech equipment, uh, no swinging the bat <laughs> at a, at a curveball and missing. But that has to be determined to know whether you're dealing with something. Listen, if you're not getting power out to that relay, there's something in that anti-theft system that's preventing voltage from getting to the starter. It's that simple, you know. So you can replace all the starters in the world and all the cell, all the relays you want to. But if there's no voltage going to them when you hit your start button. It, you know, and on that one there, think about it. There could be a bad brake light switch, which doubles as a as a start safety system. Something along those lines. That's probably what you're dealing with if they've already replaced a eight hundred dollar starter and the and the relay. Think about that. Those are all things that if, if you if you don't depress your brake pedal on that vehicle and you push that button, it's not going to start. What if there's a problem with that brake light switch that's that's causing it to not allow you to start? Maybe you've got intermittent brake lights and don't even know it. But 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 something like that is what's most likely going on. Uh, it, it has to read your key fob. You see what I'm saying before it's going to allow voltage to travel through the anti-theft system. So, so there's things there that has got to be looked at or at least voltage tests taken before you can even condemn the new parts they put on there. Because I have to be honest with you, I think they missed it completely. I don't even think it's in the ballpark. You know, so it's, it sounds like they didn't do their due diligence as far as diagnosing this before they recommended that expensive starter. They put that on there hoping that would fix it, you know, and, and that's exactly what has happened. So uh, that's pretty much where I'm going to have to leave you with that, Ron. If you need some expert help with it, I, I figure you know where you probably get it. I appreciate your call. Hi, folks. Larry Perry here. For automotive information, maybe you got automotive questions on cars, trucks, vans, SUVs. Maybe you're thinking about maybe purchasing a used vehicle, and maybe you just want my opinion. Tune in to the Magic Mechanic Radio Show every Saturday, 3 to 5 p.m. on WDBO.com. Uh, also, tune in to our Magic Mechanic YouTube channel, and don't forget to subscribe. And we'll all get together, maybe fix a few cars while we're at it.